Hi, Hiram here. Last couple of videos I've been doing tests on trying to get this Vargo titanium converter stove to come to a bloom faster if you don't use the full load of two fluid ounces in here. I've been using one fluid ounce or about 30 milliliters of methanol. Well, when I did it with the two ounces of alcohol in here, it took about a little less than two minutes for this thing to come to a bloom. When I did it with the one fluid ounce, with nothing else, it took, it burned for about 20, 20 some minutes and I finally gave up because I was getting bored sitting here and it never came to a bloom. Then Christiana Vergona, I hope I said that right, suggested put a small coil of carbon felt to be used as a wick in the center of the Vargo stove. So what I did was I got a little piece of carbon felt, about one inch by maybe a half, rolled it up and stuck it down in the tube. It soaked the alcohol right up so that it was wet at the top. I cut it so that it was almost even with this top so that it would help transfer heat over. Lit it and it was like 13 minutes 21 seconds later and it came to a bloom. But that's still a little bit too long so what I'm going to try today is something that several people suggested, suggested of using a primer pan. Now, just about all of these Vargo titanium stoves that I've had all have to have a primer underneath to get going. They just don't seem to work very well on their own. I think one big problem with that is because they're made out of titanium. Uh, I guess they use titanium because it's very light. It's supposed to be stronger than steel for the same thickness and stuff. But the problem that comes in is it just doesn't transfer heat. So if we've got flames burning up here, it doesn't transfer the heat down to the alcohol. Titanium is something like, it transfers something like uh, 10 times less than say aluminum does. That's why a lot of your pans are made out of aluminum. A lot of the jetted stoves that we've made were made out of aluminum and they seem to work. But titanium, I don't know. So, I'm going to try this. It's just a bottle cap that I pulled the plastic part out. Now, I'm going to overfill this just to show you what happens. But this is something that you're going to have to kind of play around with to see how much alcohol it takes to get this to light. Because too much alcohol in your primer pan and you're going to waste the alcohol in your stove. So, I'll just put that underneath the stand just like so turn out the light now I'll light that bottom the primer pan you won't be able to see it but it's lit now I'm hoping that the heat on the bottom of the stove will transfer up and heat up the alcohol better than trying to transfer the heat down from the top of the stove. Okay, I hear bubbling. Let's try lighting it carefully. And there we've got a bloom already within seconds. Now see, the primer flame is still going when we don't need it, so now we're wasting alcohol. And this is where I'm saying if you've got something like this, you're going to have to play with it and try different drops, different counts of drops. That's why I like using eye drop containers for primer pans. You can just drop them and count how many drops you put in that. Now, that should be out. To make this run efficiency, efficiently, that should have been out a while ago. Now you see the flames are settling down because the flame is out. But look how fast that brought it to a light. I think when you've got alcohol in the top here, that's how fast the thing should have lit. And I think if it was made of aluminum, it probably would. Now, this primer pan is for using, I'm using it with the, the converter stand that comes with it. If you wanted to put it in, can you see that? Yeah. If you wanted to put it in here, I don't think the primer pan that bottle cap sitting down at the bottom here would be enough to heat it up you'd have to bring it up a little bit so maybe something like that snuffer can 
this won't fit underneath there this is an inch from top to bottom maybe if I cut it by half then you could slide that in there and use this as your primer pan that way you could still use it as a snuffer use it as a primer and some people have suggested putting some sort of rubber or something in here so that you could stick it over the stove and hold the alcohol in for a transport that might work so there we go now we got a quick we got a light like what we should have gotten to begin with waiting for two minutes for this thing to bloom I think is just too much what I'm gonna try here now is I did it in the last video I'm gonna try snuffing it out by putting the pan down on it instead of the upside down like I had said now this hasn't been burning long so this should be fairly easy to put out once this thing did heat up that would be a different story this might not work later on if it was really hot okay put it out so just putting this down on the top will work now if you're going to use it with the hexagon wood stove you're going to have to cut this shorter and then that puts you a little bit closer to the flames again that's why I always carry gloves when I go out camping okay so I thank you I hope this helps people I'm really kind of sorry that the Vargo people don't handle this but anyway that's another story so I thank you for watching I look forward to your input questions remarks helpful suggestions and as always watch for my buddy Max bye now